can't wait to tell you guys more and more about this race. It is so exciting. I cannot believe that we are doing this at our house. When we started the plan for Copeland Farms, we knew that there were big things coming. We thought that maybe we would have a walking track and that maybe we would just um, do a couple of like, you know, reach out to the local high schools and get them to come do cross country meets here or something like that. And it's turning into so much more. I can't wait. I'm so excited. So another plan for this week coming up is fix that front door. That is so ugly. They painted it the wrong blue. It was supposed to be navy blue in the navy and they painted it navy blue. So it looks like Barney's purple house sitting there. But um, yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I, I like I want November to be here, but we have so many things to get done before we get to November that it's just it's kind of exciting and crazy, but love it. So there we go. That's the plan for the week. Click that like button and subscribe so that way you can see all of the updates. We are going to be posting some things on Yard Cart Underworld on Facebook and so you can follow some of the things happening there too. Um, I know that Octane Addicts and Matt the Camera Guy will be putting stuff up there as well as us and so um, we'll keep you updated as to what's happening. See you guys soon. Hey y'all, so I just wanna give you an update as to what's happening out here on Copeland Farms today and this week. Um, so Trey and his dad are con gonna continue pulling in dirt from the other part of the farm for the racetrack so that that can get smooth and super compacted. Um, they're actually, on, my in-laws are on their way over now so that we can get a workout in. You'll see this week, um, Bud has started working out. At the age of 81 years old, he's finally decided that he wants to get stronger and feel better. So he's very encouraging to us. And you'll see in the video this week that he's frail, but it's because of a near death car accident that they had last year. And so we're super blessed that he's here even with us today and that he's decided to make a change. And so we're so excited every morning when they call. We were thinking they'd come three times a week and do their workout, but um, he wants to come every day. So that's so exciting. We think that he, even though he doesn't want to tell us, we think he feels better and you can tell by the things that he's able to do. So thank God for that. His blessing has just been phenomenal. Um, so you can see behind us, we've got some of the gym things set up. Um, Trey is a huge Texas Rangers and Cowboys fan. So um, a couple of years ago, my mom painted those for him. And so we've got those done. Um, we've got those hung up. The What's in front of me is, you'll get to see that surprise later this week. Um, he is also a collector of trucks and tractors. John Deere, Case, Massey Ferguson, New Holland, all of those. We're starting to hang shelves to put those up on. We've got to get a few more things um, to hang the shelves with, but we're doing really good with that. So lots of things happened in this week. We're getting a reprieve from um, hay cutting this week, so that'll pick up again next week. And uh, this week is just track work, track work, track work, and getting sponsors. So if you know of anybody that wants to be a sponsor for the Barnyard 400 that's coming up in November, uh, November 12th, let us know. We're reaching out to people trying to make this event as phenomenal as possible. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to give you a quick update. We just got some rain. The guys had brought in a couple truckloads of dirt and it, it withheld really well. We got rain for probably a solid 45 minutes um, and nothing too crazy that we need to worry about. So we're super excited that the three truckloads of dirt they got in yesterday really helped. Um, you can see I don't know if you can see, but there's not a ton of water in the bucket of the tractor. So that's a good thing. Um, they are going to do some work on the backhoe tomorrow. And then we'll bring in some more dirt tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully the rain will hold off. There we have it. One load of dirt for the racetrack. The plan for the day is that they've been getting dirt 
from the neighbor's house who is kindly giving it to us and they're going to bring it over here here probably five or six truckloads today and then um either late tonight or tomorrow trey will start spreading it through um through the track so there he is that's super exciting let's see what he's doing there it goes it's all falling there we go great job